Our next concerts, in fact there are going to be two concerts, are on the 17th of April. There's going to be a 4 o'clock matinee concert and a 7.30 concert which is also going to be streamed live on YouTube. What I mean by that is that you can be there in person for the first time in a long time. In the first part, we have works by two wonderful American composers. Samuel Barber's Adagio for Strings was originally written in 1936 as the slow movement to his string quartet. But of course, since then, we've all heard it countless times in movies, on TV, in the concert hall, and elsewhere. And I can't imagine anybody with a beating heart being left unmoved by this incredibly intense and emotional piece. Following that, a terrific piece that I imagine is going to be new to most of you, certainly was to me. Joan Tower wrote her chamber dance for the marvelous Orpheus Chamber Orchestra. And she said about this that she always thought of the members of the group as interacting and dancing together. And I think that's lovely. There are lots of solos and duets throughout the piece, but I want to quote from Joan Tower herself, who has said, the ensemble writing is fairly vertical and rhythmic in its profile, thereby creating an ensemble that has to dance well together. Now I take that as composer speak for, this piece is really hard, so you'd better practice. Well, I can assure you we're going to be practicing and rehearsing together and bringing to you a terrific performance of this tremendous piece. The final and most substantial piece on the programme is the Piano Concerto No. 4 by Beethoven. Beethoven wrote this piece between 1805 and 1806 and it was premiered at a concert in Vienna in 1808. It was actually an event that was a benefit concert for the composer himself. And can you imagine, not only was there this piano concerto, but also the choral fantasy and the symphony number no. five and the symphony number no. six. What an amazing evening that must have been. It also marked the final occasion on which Beethoven appeared as a concert soloist. And speaking of soloists, the Reading Symphony Orchestra's guest soloist on April the 17th will be the wonderful Stuart Goodyear. I think this is the first time Stuart has performed in Reading, and if you haven't heard this incredible musician before, you really are in for a treat. So let's recap. That's Saturday, April the 17th, four o'clock in the afternoon at the Santander Performing Arts Center, 7.30 in the evening, also at the Santander Performing Arts Center, and live on YouTube if you prefer. Two choices, in person, or live streaming. The virtually unstoppable Reading Symphony Orchestra live again on Saturday, April the 17th.